prophet says out from your Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. The song. The song. Arise and give praise to Allah, the big God of the universe. Give honors to his noble divine prophet, Prophet Noble Jurali. Give honors to the former in these days, Marcus Messiah Garvey. I give honor to all grand sheiks, heads, the temples. All temples have remained to keep the doors open. I give honors to the members of the Moore Science Temple of America. I give honor to our children. I give honor to all Asiatics and all, all over the world. Islam. Islam. I give honor to all the prophets, known and unknown. Spirits seen and unseen. All forces known and unknown. Islam. Islam. The Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America, Circle 7, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali. By the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. Know thyself and Allah, the genealogy of Jesus, life and works of Jesus in India. Europe and Africa, the land of Egypt. Noble Drali, the prophet and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America to redeem the people from their sinful ways. Islam. Islam. We're going to continue with the Morris American prayer. All those who do not wish to participate in a prayer may stay seated in silent benediction. We're doing a face in the east with five fingers standing on the left and two fingers standing on the right. Islam. Islam. Islam, 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 Allah, the Father of the Universe, Allah, the Father of the Universe, Father of Love, Father of Love, Truth, Truth, Truth Peace, Peace, Freedom, Freedom, and Justice, and Justice. Allah is my protector, Allah is my protector, my God, my God, my salvation, and my salvation. By night, by night, and by day, and by day, through His Holy Prophet, through His Holy Prophet, Juali, Juali, Amen, Amen. Islam, Islam, may be seated. Islam. Islam. Star and Crescent representing salvation, all seeing I Allah, and press the unity, the uniting of Asia. The Morris Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and by Laws. Act 1. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Morris Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of the Morris Science Temple of America. The assistant grand sheik is to assist the grand sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Morris Science Temple of America. Act 2. All meetings are to be opened and closed properly according to the Circle 7 and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest because on a Friday the first man was formed in flesh. And on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his father God, Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act 3. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Morris Science Temple Law of America. No members are put in danger or accused falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because Allah is love. Act 4. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws. And all members must obey the laws of the government because by being a Morsh American you are a part and parcel of this said government and must live the life accordingly. Act 5. This organization of the Morris Science Temple of America is not a confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act 6. With us, our members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and the divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and parcel of the said government, and know that they are not Negroes, 
colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians. Because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and last until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Jurali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites, who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. Our members is promptly attended meetings and become a part and parcel of all the acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Jalali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. Islam. Islam. Friday, January 15th, 1929, Prophet warns all Muslims, Governor's order to be proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all agitating, rad radical agitating speeches while at work in their homes or in the street. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans that causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be a severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, and freedom. And when these principles are violated, justice then must take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant and the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. Our true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card, button, cease wearing their turban or fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the Prophet Noble Jew Ali. And if the Prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The Prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their Prophet and the temple. The end of time is drawing near now, so to Allah, to His holy and divine Prophet, I, Noble Jew Ali. That's the reason many hearts have turned to stone. Many have eyes to see but can't see, have ears to hear but can't hear. At least they'll be concerned about their sins. These are the trying hours, dear more than every evil spirit is moving now. They are trying every weak mind to tear down and drag out the true foundation which has been laid by me, the Prophet. But if you have love of Allah in your hearts and the spirit of your forefathers, you free not nothing you hear or see, but will sacrifice to the utmost of your very life to protect your Prophet and your movement. This is an everlasting movement found about the Prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sins. Peace. 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 Islam. 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 Now continue with the 101 questions for Moorish children. Islam. We also children as adults. Islam. And these questions are for us too. Islam. 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 Who made you? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is the Father of the universe. Can we see Him? No. Where is the nearest place we can meet Him? In the heart. Who is Noble Jura Ali? He is the last prophet. Part of South. Six. What is a prophet? A prophet is the Father of Allah manifested in the flesh. Seven. What is the duty of a prophet? To save nations from the wrath of Allah. Eight. Who was the founder of the Moor Science Temple of America? Noble Jura Ali. Nine. What year was the Moore Science Temple of America founded? 1913 AD. Where? North New Jersey. Eleven. Where was Noble Jurali born? In the state of North Carolina, 1886. 
12, what is his nationality? Moorish American. 13, what is your nationality? Moorish American. 14, why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. 15, for what purpose was the Moorish Science Temple of America founded? For the uplifting of fallen humanity. 16, how did the Prophet begin to uplift the Moorish American? By teaching them to be themselves. 17, what is our religion? Islamism. 18, is that a new or is that an old time religion? Old time religion. 19, what kind of flag is the Moorish? It is a red flag with five pointed green star in the center. 20, what do the five points represent? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. 21, how old is our flag? It is over 50,000 years old. 22, which is our holy day? Friday. 23, why? Because Friday is the day when man, man was formed in flesh. It was on Friday when he departed out of flesh. 24, who was Jesus? He was a prophet of Allah. 25, where was he born? In Bethlehem of Judah in the house of David. 26, who were his father and mother? Joseph and Mary. 27, will you give him brief the line, genealogy through which Jesus came? Some of the great fathers through which Jesus came were Abraham, Boaz by Ruth, Jesse, King David, Solomon, Hezekiah, and Joseph by Mary. 28, why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the Palestinian nations of Europe who were governing a portion of Palestine at that time. 29. How long has that been? About 2,000 years ago. 30. What was the nationality of Ruth? Ruth was the Moabites. 31. What is the my name for Moabites? Moroccans. 32. Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest of Mexico. 33. What is the modern name for a Mexican? Africa. 34. What is the title given to our ruler in Morocco? Sultan. 35. Where do we get the name Jesus? From the East. 36. What does the name Jesus mean? Jesus means justice. justice. 37. Did the angel give to the child that was called Jesus a holy name? Yes, yes but it could not be used by those who are slaves to sin. 38. What is an angel? An angel is a thought of God manifested in human flesh. 39. What are angels used for? To carry a message to the four corners of the world to all nations. 40. What is our prophet to us? He was an angel of Allah who was sent to bring the everlasting gospel of Allah. 41. What is the everlasting gospel? It is the same power that comes from Allah from my ancient fathers by his prophet. 42. What is the covenant of the great God Allah? Honor thy father and thy mother, so that thy days may be long upon the earth, which the Lord thy God Allah has given thee. 43. At what age did Jesus begin to teach? At the age of 12. 44. When did he teach? India, Africa, and Europe. 45. How long did he teach? 18 years. 46. What did Jesus say that will make you free? Truth. 47. What is truth? Truth is all. 48. What is art? All is the law. 49. Can truth change? Truth cannot change or pass away. 50. What other name do we give to truth? Holy breath. 51. What have you to say about holy breath? Oh, we can say that it is great, it is good, what it was, it is, it is more to be. Amen. Amen. 52. At what place on earth was the physical part of man formed? In the Garden of Eden. 53. Where is the Garden of Eden? In the land of Canaan, the city of Mecca. 54. What is the modern name for the Garden of Eden? Mecca. 55. What is the name of the first physical man? His name cannot be used only by the executive rulers of the AC of the MST of A. 56. What are the words? Of the AC of the MST of A. Adam's chamber of the Moorish Science Temple of America, third heaven. 57. Who were Adam and Eve? They are the mothers and fathers of the human family, Asiatics and Muslims. 58. Where did they go? They went to Asia. 59. What is the modern name given to their children? Asiatics. 60. Who was God in the holy city of Mecca today to keep unbelievers away? Angels. 61. What is my name for those angels? Asiatics. 62. What is the shade of their skin? Oh. 63. Are the Moorish Americans any relation to those angels? Yes, yes. we all have the same fathers and mothers. 64. I give five names that are given to the descendants of Adam and Eve. Lucifer, Satan, Devil, Dragon, and Beast. 65. What is the devil sometimes called? The lower self. 66. How many selves are there? Two. 67. And the higher self, self and lower self. self. 68. What people represent the higher self? The angels that affect the holy city of America. 69. What people represent the lower self? Those who are cast out of the holy city and those who accept their teachings. 70. What is the higher self? The higher self is the mother of virtue and the knowledge of life that brings justice, mercy, love, and right. 
71, can the higher self pass away? No. 72, why? Because of the divine nature. 73, what does the lower self breed? Hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. 74, what did the higher self say to the lower self at one time when he met him? Where are you going, Satan? 75, what was the answer the lowest self gave to the higher self? I'm 76, has he finished his task of devouring? Yes. 77, when was his time declared out? When he nailed Jesus to the cross. 78, what were the last words Jesus uttered? It is finished. 79, what did he have reference to? He had reference to the end of Satan. 80, did Jesus say that he would return to conquer him? Yes. 81. What is the name of the person to whom Jesus was first reincarnated? Prophet Muhammad the Conqueror. 82. Was Satan to be bound then? Satan, Satan was to be bound in part. 83. When was the head of Satan taken off? 1453 is the time. 84. By whom? By Muhammad. 85. Name some of the marks that were put upon the moors of Northwest by the European nations in 1774. Negro, black, colored, Ethiopian. 86. What is meant by the word Negro? Negro is a name given to the river in West Africa by Moors because it contained black water. 87. What is meant by the word black? Black, according to science, means death. 88. What does the word colored mean? Colored means anything that had a painted stain, varnish, or dye. 89. What does Ethiopia mean? Ethiopia means something that's violated. 90. Can a man be a Negro, black, colored, or Ethiopian? No. 91. Why? Because, because man is made the image of the right likeness, likeness of God alone. 92. What title does Satan give himself? God. 93. Will you defi define the word white? White, white means, means purity, purity, purity means, means God, and God means the ruler of the life. 94. To whom do you refer at times as being the great God? Allah. 95. Is the devil made in the image and likeness of Allah? No, he is the shadow of our Lord himself and so pass away. 96. Who made the devil? Elohim. 97. Who was Elohim? Elohim is the seven created spirits that created everything that was, is, or ever more to be. 98. What is Elohim sometimes called? The seven eyes of Allah. 99. How many days in a circle? Seven days. 100. How many days in a creation? Seven days. 101. According to science, how many days in a year? Seven days. Islam. 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 I would like to call to the altar at this moment. Grand Sheikh. Divine Minister, Lord Noble Nature, Albay, Islam. 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 Hotep. Hotep. Peace. Peace. Islam. 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 I all mean the same thing. Islam. 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 I rise in the name of Allah. Giving honors to his holy and divine prophet, the last prophet, in these days, the one that was sent by Allah to North America to save his people and warn them to repent from their sinful ways. Giving honors to all the Moorish Americans, all the ones who acknowledge themselves and who their forefathers were. Because you are who your forefathers were without a doubt and contradiction. It's not. It's not. It's not. You may be seated. Going back to our questionnaires, the question is why did Allah send Jesus to the earth? To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppressions of the Palestinian nations of Europe who were governing the portion of Palestine at that time. I'm going to ask the question again and I want you to say it slower so it can register to us and to those who may not have heard that before. Why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? To save the Israelites from the iron and oppressions of the Palestinian nations of Europe who were governing a portion of Palestine at that time. Islam. Who was Jesus? The Prophet of Allah. The Prophet of Allah. Where was he born? In Bethlehem, Judah, in the house of David. 
where or what is the house of David? Leo. The oh, house of David peace. is the house of peace. Uh, yeah. It's the house of light. Light means knowledge. It means to know. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the question, why did Allah send Jesus yeah. to the earth? He sent them to the earth to save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the pale-skinned nations of Europe who were governing a portion of Palestine at that time. At that time. So he came to do a job, he came to do a mission. And he came at a particular time. It was at that time. So my question is, why did Allah send Prophet Noble Drew Ali to the earth? To so save, if Islam, go ahead. To take save the Moorish Americans from the iron hand of Christian and Palestinian nations of Europe, who are yeah. ruling a portion of America this time. Islam. Islam. To save the Asiatics of North America from the iron hand oppression of the pale skinned nations of Europe, still the same people, that are governing a portion of America at this time. See the difference in the prophets now? It's long. The mission was the same. The territory was different. The condition was different. You're dealing with that time, and now you have this time. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said this is a new era of time. So now, or nationality is the order of this day. This is one of the main conditions that our people are suffering from here in North America is the Negro problem. Mm -hmm. He said the Negro problem is your problem, talking to us, meaning it's our problem. Oh. That's the biggest problem. There's, there's a lot of different conditions and issues we have, but the main issue is the people is without a nationality. That's the main reason. It's a domino effect starting from that point. That's how we've been enslaved in this era of time. You've been enslaved through being in the want of jurisdiction. Being in the want of nationality. Being in the want of something means that you're without it. It means you don't have it. We don't have it because we don't acknowledge it and proclaim it. It's there. But we don't proclaim it. So it's assumed. If something's assumed and it's not challenged, it's waived. That, that means it stands. So this is how we've been bureaucratized in this era of time. Go back to Act 6 of your divine constitution and bylaws. He said these names were given to slaves by slaveholders. In 1779 and lasted until 1865 mm -hmm. during the time of slavery qualified that means during the legal time of slavery when it, it wasn't necessarily legal according to 
the constitution and common law but it was legal according to how the states were functioning so that's a legal period of slavery but slavery did not end in 1865 the proof of it is the Prophet Nobu Ali. That's why he was sent to this earth. And when? So because slavery did not end, Allah exhausted his remedies and resurrected another prophet to come and fix this mess. A mm. couple of years later. Deal with your timelines here. The Prophet Nabu Ali's message is universal because the U.S. democracy has been influencing different countries around the world, centralizing different governments around the world and nationalizing their citizens. by bringing them under the control of the U.S. So, the Prophet's program is needed abroad because of that. So it's not just geared, it's not just helpful here in North America. This program needs to be across the board. Because the issues that happened and occurred here in North America is happening all over the world now. Mm -hmm. But he specifically came to address the nation of North America. Because North America was the only particular nation state that was in the want of nationality. Doesn't mean that they were only the, the only nation that were enslaved and the only nation that did not acknowledge the nationality. Not just the Moorish Americans not acknowledging their nationality but the citizens at large did not acknowledge the divine title of their government. That is a form of not acknowledging the nationality because you're not acknowledging the nation. Mm -hmm. so. so it makes it makes no difference if you have a nationality and you still don't acknowledge the nation. Our nationality, being Moorish American, we acknowledge the nation. Moorish American, our descent and our present day allegiance. So, if someone asks me my nationality and I say U.S., U.S. is not a nationality, U.S. is not a nation. So I'm still not acknowledging the national name of my government. So come on now. And because of that, I'm abused, I'm exiled, I'm punished, I'm beaten, I'm incarcerated, I'm institutionalized. Mm -hmm. Be just just because I didn't acknowledge the free national name of my government. We're not even getting into your, the, the, the descent. We're just talking about the, not the national name of the government. The 
The Constitution for North America is not the U.S. Constitution. So that's not the national name of the Constitution. It's not the name of the land, and it's not the name of the people. Therefore, it has no power, has no protection or security within it. It has no force behind it. It wasn't backed or chartered by any sovereignty. So it's not free. So listen to where I'm going. So Allah sent Prophet Nobu Ali to this earth to save the citizens of North America from the iron hand oppression of the pale skinned nations of Europe who are governing a portion of America. Why? Because this is bigger than North America. This is a portion of America. This is not just America. This is not the whole entire America. We're not the only citizens of America. Some of the other citizens of America are proclaiming their national name. Mm -hmm. They have a nationality. They acknowledge it. They have a free national name that they recognize. So that's not even an American problem. That's why a portion of America. This is the portion here that we need to deal with. Why do people keep clinging to names and principles that's unconstitutional? So, Prophet Noble Ali is the prophet of North America. Because his mission is specifically to save this nation. The nation, not just the Moorish American nation, but the nation, the government. The citizens at large here that occupies this landmass. Because they are not answering up to this constitution either. They're not enforcing the constitutional laws of this government. That's why he said he's calling on all true American citizens, loyal, faithful members of the Moore Science Temple. He needs the support of all of us because he's what he came to do affects all of us. So we can make his mission more effective if we stand behind his mission to help this government. What document does he speak about that? Comes out of our Moorish Guide. March 1st, 1929. Prophet makes plea to the nation. He says, I, the prophet, am applying to all loyal, faithful Moors, members, and the American citizens to help me in my great uplifting acts of uplifting fallen humanity among the Asiatic race and nation. That's right. He says, I know all true American citizens are identified by national descent names. That means all American citizens must have a descent flag and a name of their forefathers to be an American citizen. That means that this has to be acknowledged and recognized before this can. Mm -hmm. That's law. To answer and apply to the free national constitution. So it doesn't mean that you have to acknowledge this. But if you're going to answer and apply to the free national constitution. And you're going to ask for its protection and its security. Then that's a prerequisite. Your descent. The Constitution does not recognize anything outside of descent first. Mm. 
It's like a password, like a code word. If you don't know the password, you get no help. You get no answer. That's how this government was laid down. We put our trust upon names and issues formed by our forefathers. Your forefathers played a key role into government. Your forefathers built government. Mm -hmm. The trust is based on your forefathers. It's an inheritance. This is why the prophet says, Come all ye Asiatics, come hear the truth about what? Your nationality and your birthright. You have a birthright to citizenship. You have a birthright to a nationality. But it's a prerequisite to that. You must answer and apply to these particular governments here by name and principles of your forefathers. You can't leave the forefathers out the picture because you leave yourself out the picture. You are who your forefathers were without a doubt or contradiction, which means that you are the ones that set up this government. This, these are your laws. It's kind of like a, a contradiction that we have to come learn about what we've done before. Mm -hmm. so some of us don't look at it like that. We think we're reading some great history and works of some people. And we're trying to find out how we can claim a connection to them when we don't really understand that we are them. You're talking about yourself. When you mention forefathers, you are talking about yourself. It's something you did. It's not, that's right. When you talk about this flag, your descent nature, that is you. If you deny your forefathers or your descent, you deny yourself. That means you are ignoring yourself. You are the law. That's why they say ignorance of the law is no excuse. Because ignorance of yourself is no excuse. If you don't know self, that is a sin. A self-inflicted negativity. Ignorance of self. To not know yourself is a crime. Mm -hmm. I mean, legally. Not to know yourself is a crime. And you're subject to all abuses, inferior names, ETC, by just not knowing yourself. And if you don't know yourself, from a hol holistic perspective and don't know how to heal yourself you're subject to all types of diseases and karma that the universe want to put on you mm -hmm. because you don't know how to cure it so diseases comes because you're not in the constitutional fold of self so when you ignore symptoms and things that goes on in your natural state, which is your natural constitution, which is your natural body, once you ignore that, then you're punished. Just because you don't know yourself. It's not no one else's fault. It's not the doctor's fault. It's your fault because you don't know self. Small sheep. Small. I rise to pray to the great Father God Allah, orchestrator of the seven plagues of existence, and the one to the Prophet Abdul Ali, founder of the more science temple of America, and now the more divine national principle. The one to my grand seat, no need to obey. The one to the sneaker sneaker, I to my obey. I can bow to Mukti. I can bow to everybody here on trying to understand what it's being called to do. Islam. Islam, honor to you, brother. My question is, we talked about an animal and substantial rights. We know that the inedible rights are divine rights given by God. We know that substantial rights are rights uh, are, are, are protected from the protected by the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So now, does those inedible or substantial rights apply to Negroes, Black, Coast, or Ethiopians? 
No, because Negro, Black, Colored, and Ethiopians is not considered natural persons according to the Constitution. The Constitution only recognizes natural persons, not artificial persons. The Constitution only protects natural persons. It was formed by natural persons for natural persons. So it, it doesn't respect the station of artificial persons. This is why for corporate and commerce purposes they had to come out with commercial codes, uniform commercial codes to deal with the rules and regulations of corporations. Mm -hmm. Codes and other things pertain to corporations. Constitution pertains to natural people. Because the Constitution was prepared for all free national beings. So Negro, Black, and Colored, according to all true and divine records, there is no Negro, Black, and Colored. So those are fictional terms. They're artificial terms that doesn't, doesn't denote to human beings. Islam. Islam, Sheikh is nigga. Islam. Um kind of backing off of your statement mm -hmm. when he said it's a sin not to know yourself yes and the prophet tells us in your life is man's obligation to know themselves he says <clears throat> you know study you know, if, I would, if you would ask me what to study I would say yeah. yourselves and you all have studied them and then would ask me what to study next I would reply yourselves mm -hmm. and we know that man has two selves higher self and lower self that's correct. And he who knows his lower self knows the illusions of the world, knows mm -hmm. the things that will pass away. True. And he who knows his higher self knows Allah, mm -hmm. knows the things that cannot pass away. You know, and it goes on in the soul of man, tells us perception of thyself, the knowledge of him who created thee, the sense of worship thou owest unto him, are not these plain before thy face, and behold, what is more, what, what is there more that man needed to know? So. You know, so it's a clear indication that if you don't know yourself, you don't know your creator. True. And that's a divine, um, that's, that's a sin. Divine, yes. That's a divine violation. Yes. To not know who, that's like not honoring your mothers and your fathers. You know, Indeed. Allah is our great father. It's you know, so how could we not, we can't honor and can't say we love him if we don't know him. Like we can't love ourselves if we don't know who we are. Yes, and we can't praise Allah. If we don't know if self. We don't know self. Mm -hmm. That's why fruition is when man knows himself, mm -hmm. when man unfolds and knows himself, that he knows Allah and they become one. Islam. And man cannot become one with Allah if he don't know himself. Indeed. Or become who he is. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's why the record all also says that as man unfolds, his God unfolds. His God unfolds. Absolutely. And man's God today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, tomorrow is not, not God, God anymore. Absolutely. Because your God going to keep changing. It's going to keep changing. As your perception of yourself keep changing. As a wise man. A wise man doubteth often because he is trying to grow and unfold. That's correct. You know, and because Allah is perfect and all-knowing, you have to go through these stages to be able to, to meet Allah in the heart. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. So you praise that whatever your, your perception. perception is. Absolutely. And, and whatever vibration you call on, that becomes your God. Right. What, and that's what you, whatever you serve becomes your God. Right. So as you unfold, then your perception of something is going to change. Right. And you might not put as much energy into that anymore, and you start putting energy into another direction. Right. Like Part of inconstancy. Right. right. We're not stable because we, know, we don't know. Right. And that's why the prophet said that we as a clean and pure nation, descended from the inhabitants of Africa, do not desire to amalgamate or marry into the families of the pale skinned nations of Europe. Not speaking radical, but this is just truth. Mm -hmm. Neither serve the God of their religion, mm -hmm. because our forefathers, the true and divine founders of the first religious creed true. for the redemption and salvation of mankind on earth. Mm -hmm. So Christianity is just an earthly, um, a earthly salvation that was prepared for them. Mm -hmm. Well, for more Americans, we return back to Islam wow. for our earthly and divine salvation. salvation. Yes. Wow. And that's returning Redemption. back to returning back to ourself. Mm -hmm. Returning back to Islam is just turning back to self. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I self, law, and master. Right. And that's the true redemption process. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Because the name Islam simply means peace. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple faith. Right. And that's the goal of man's life. It, yes. To return to the house of peace. Exactly. A house of peace. Right. That's his final goal. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's universal in all nations. So your mission, our mission here, is to return back to the house of peace. House of peace. That's yes, now. So as we unfold, we learn more about peace and what it takes to live in peace, Absolutely. to create peace, Absolutely. to appreciate peace. Right. And the Constitution itself, once again, the physical Constitution that's written, is dedicated to protecting and preserving peace. Mm -hmm. It's a peace contract. Mm -hmm. Just like a treaty is. That's the only difference is a treaty is between nations. Right. A constitution is domestic. Mm -hmm. But true. they bring about the same result. Peace. Right. That's why the 1787 Moroccan Peace and Friendship Treaty superseded by the Treaty of 1836 is styled as a peace and friendship treaty between two or more nations. No. The Constitution is a treaty between domestic citizens mm -hmm. to do the same thing, mm -hmm. to protect and preserve peace. Right. Because peace, the reason why you don't have peace is because there's some type of conflict that mm -hmm. was going on, which right. means war. Right. So most constitutions and treaties come from the result of some type of war. Right, right. Which is a product of some type of injustice that happened. Some injustices, yes. It could be right. domestic or it could be different countries. Right. Right. But anytime we make an agreement, a treaty, a pact, mm -hmm. that means that we want to agree to a, a, a more um, agreeable term. Right. That best suits more. ourselves and like the preamble says, and our posterity. Right. So it's for, the, for future peace. Right. The Constitution is for peace. Right. Being that we've been outside the constitutional fold, we have been we have not been demonstrating peace to mm -hmm. other citizens, mm -hmm. and we have not been receiving peace right. by other citizens. Mm -hmm. So we were outside the constitutional fold of government. Mm -hmm. This is why the Prophet Nobujuali says that peace in society. Peace in society. Mm -hmm. Dependence on justice. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's right. Depends on justice. You can't have peace without justice. Right. And I think this is an ideal time to um, bring out the statement that said, you know, so that the lion and the lamb can lie down together on the hills and he will be harmed mm -hmm. when morning came. Yes. Because love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice remain in this land. Mm -hmm. You know, so all nations, as you said, the treaty or peace mm -hmm. or agreement could come together and live harmlessly. Mm -hmm. And this is what the divine constitution and bylaw serves as is a is a constitution, but it's also a treaty. Right. Because it's an agreement between two or more parties. Mm -hmm. Moorish American being one party and the American citizens. Mm -hmm. The government aspect, we the people, is the other party. Mm -hmm. That's the government that he's speaking about. Mm -hmm. So the treaty is to receive and confer reciprocal helps and mutual obligations. Mm -hmm. That brought us back into the constitutional fold of peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By him restoring the name and principles of us, automatically put us back into the trust. Right. Because the trust is upon names and issues formed by the forefathers. Right. So we were untrustworthy people. Right. As Negro, Black, and Color, we were untrustworthy people. Right. We were not peaceful people. Mm -hmm. Islam, Brother Osman. Islam, I rise, I give praise to Allah, the Father of the Universe. I give honors to his prophet, Noble Jali. I give honors to the forerunner forerunner in this day, Marcus Musa Garvey. I give honors to my Grand Sheikh and his staff. I give honors to the Charter. I give honors to the flag and I give honors to what honors do. Islam. 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 Camel. Thank you. Camel a little back on the highest self and the lowest self. 
the body is a servant to the mind regardless if the actions are deliberately chosen or automatically expressed mm-hmm. while having pure and happy thoughts mm-hmm. as we know sin occurs within the thought first mm-hmm. while having pure and happy thoughts we have a pure and healthy strong body mm-hmm. but while the, at the bidding of impure thoughts unhappy thoughts the body sinks into disease and decay mm-hmm. and, and, and we eat the wrong foods and it's hard to when a person is humble mm-hmm. and they're happy it's easier to communicate to them they get they're, li- they're listening they might not agree with it but they're going to listen if it's something they might see they're going to they're gonna check it out true but a person is all hostile you know you're not going to get down through so he's going to go he's going to eat the wrong foods he's going to do the wrong things mm-hmm. and it's going to happen like that you know mm-hmm. it's no mystery mm-hmm. we are the creator of our own heaven and hell mm-hmm. we are the great gods you are what you eat Islam. The slow. Islam. Moving right along. And just to close up that topic, you know, uh, we spoke Friday about the names. The names that we choose. And just to go into that quickly, you know, one of the other differences between why some of us correct our names is like I said before, your name is your nature. Your name explains who you are and it gives off a certain vibration to the universe. So what you're doing is invoking force when you call on letters, numbers, you know, words have vibrations to them. So by calling on certain names, what you do is raise the vibratory tone. And this is what we're trying to do, is raise our vibratory tone, vibratory tone to vibrate on a higher frequency. And certain uh, numbers, certain vibrations, certain letters, like I said, and even symbols, can lower your vibration. So we're stuck into a second circuit mm-hmm. uh, as being Negro, Black, and Colors, and we keep clinging to names and principles that are unconstitutional unconstitutional meaning that we're vibrating in an acidic environment we have, we have been we have reduced the etheric vibratory rate where we don't vibrate fast anymore we can't uh, we can't invoke a god vibration this is once again back to the holy quran You know, and you know the number seven being in the middle of the Quran because this is a vibratory rate mm-hmm. and we are to raise that from within you become the Quran the prophet says that we have the Quran as the revealed word of God Allah now if you truly understand that and know that you are God when you understand that you are God in your higher state, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. in your present lower state, but mm-hmm. in your higher state, then those are your words. Mm-hmm. You are the Quran. You're part and parcel to the Quran when you're in your higher state. So the thoughts of yourself become the thoughts of Allah. Mm-hmm. Islam? Islam. Islam. People respect you when they see you respect yourself. Mm -hmm. When they see you don't respect yourself, that's when they lose respect for you. I tell people, you know, all the time that my name is Nature. Mm -hmm. So, right then and there, I humble them because it's a humble name. And what it does is reduce biased thoughts that they might have it changes their perception of who I am 
And first thing they say, well, you know, did your mother name you that? <laughs> and then nine times out of ten, they know that my mother didn't name, name me that. Because they know most of us are not conscious on that level. Mm -hmm. But when I say no, this is a name that I chose to best describe who I am. It takes them into another arena. Because I'm saying that I'm one of peace. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. I am one with all things in existence. I am that I am. I am part of God's creation. So I acknowledge that within myself, and that's why I chose that for myself. Mm -hmm. See, that's a different. So that creates a peaceful environment with whoever I come in contact with. Because the vibration is put on high at that point. And, and, and they don't sense fear. They don't sense threat. It creates a peaceful footing so that we can build upon. So we can meet on the level. And usually we start talking about things that's pertaining to nature. And they start expressing, you know, their interest in nature. How, you know, whatever they into and what, whatever way they give back to nature, they start explaining that to me. Because just starting from what's my name. I didn't even get into what I do on a daily basis. Just my name alone put them in a certain mind frame that created a conversation. And then down the line, if we have time to talk, we usually get into, you know, the Negro, Black, and Color thing. And I explained that I'm, you know, that we're neither of those. No one is Negro, Black, and Color. Right. It's just that some people don't acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference between myself and others. It's just I acknowledge that I'm not Negro, Black, and Colored. And I'm going to proclaim my descent. They choose not to do so, but just, just because they don't, don't mean that they are. Because man cannot be Negro, Black, and Colored. Mm -hmm. Islam? Islam. Islam. Islam? That brings me into my lesson for today. Islam, I'll just ask to hold all questions for now. And let me lay the groundwork on back to the prophet's mission once again. I spoke about the Nat Nationalization Act of 1790 in the previous class. Now, this is important because the Nationalization Act is what sets the standard in writing as to the uniform rule of nationalization or naturalization. Mm -hmm. Now remember, according to Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution, Congress had the power to make the uniform rule about naturalization. Islam. Congress was given that authority to establish a uniform rule for naturalization. So they came out with the Naturalization Act. The Nationalization Act was the first one. And I'm going to read to you something according to the Nationalization Act. This particular document here is by Eric Fauner. And his style, Race in America. Race in America. Now listen to everything that I'm going to be going over. Race in America. There's truly only one race in America. And that's the human race. That's the human race. The word race has been... Misnomered. I'm going to read to you a Black's Law dictionary definition of race and then I'm going to explain mine. I got it. Thank you. 
It says the term primarily means an ethnical stock, a great division of mankind, having in common certain distinguishing physical peculiar constituting a comprehensive class appearing to be derived from a distinct primitive source. It says a tribal or national stock. A division or subdivision of one of the great racial stocks of mankind. It says the word race connotates descent. You hear that? Mm -hmm. This is a Black's Law Dictionary 4th edition. Connotates descent. So, there's truly only one race. And this is what the Prophet Nabi Ali says. That's the human race. But even in the definition, they recognize that, but they said that the human race has become distinct, a distinction has been made between people of the human race. So now people are broken down into nations, tribes, and different things. So now, in law, is used or defined as descent. So when they ask, what is your descent? Or what is your nationality? You're supposed to reply, Moorish American. Or if you want to go from you are part of the Asia at Asiatic race, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. But when they say race, they mean descent. So when you fill out these applications and these documents, and it says race there, and you start putting down Negro, black, or color, what you're saying is that's your descent. <laughs> you're saying that black is your descent. Demonstrate now. How foolish do you sound? So, modern day race is the same thing as descent, is what they're saying. No different if somebody, what's your nationality? Moorish American. Because Moorish is your descent. But they say race, they don't ask you nationality. Because they took that from you. Now they ask you what's your race, and you keep putting a check mark down there. Why do we keep cleaning the names and principles to delude the slavery? Race in America. You gotta break this down from 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 all the way from the foundation of this. Race 